हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू अवर मैथमेटिक्स क्लास स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड सेफ एट योर होम स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट वीक वी लर्न इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ एडिशन करेक्ट एंड इन दैट इंट्रोडक्शन वी हैव सीन हाउ टू राइट नंबर इन हंड्रेड एंड टेन्स ओके For example, we learned twenty-one tens means two hundred and ten tens. Correct. In this way, we have seen how to write numbers in hundreds and tens. So this is very useful for addition. So today we will see how to do addition of three-digit numbers, and that is addition by carrying over, because in first term. we learn addition that is simple addition without carrying over okay very simple numbers were there for example 9 plus 1 means 10 it is correct 4 plus 3 7 then 3 plus 2 5 in this way without carrying over we learn addition and today we are going to learn addition by carrying over so students let's start we will solve some examples okay students okay so i have written some examples here so first we will read examples first example is 135 plus 258 so student you can see here unit place tens place and 100 place this is three digit number means what there are three places unit tens and hundreds so here how to read it 135 and here 258 so first we will do addition of digits at unit place so which is the unit place this is the unit place okay so first is 5 Plus eight. Student, just see from your right hand side. You should start from unit place. First is five plus eight. So students do this five plus eight. Now you should do. Okay, fast five plus eight. Five plus eight is equal to thirteen. Means here we got answer thirteen. Five plus eight is thirteen. Thirteen means what? Three units and one tens. Correct. Three units and one tens. so these three units we will write here three units and these one tens we will write at one tens place here three units and one tens so in tens place we will write this one and that is called carrying over did you understand student so 8 plus 5 13 so three here and one carrying over Now, students, already there are two digits, three and five, at tens place. But now we added one more in that tens place. So do addition: five plus three, eight, and eight plus this one, nine. So here answer will come nine. Don't write eight because three plus five, eight. But this is one we have carried over. So we that one also we should added in this. So three plus five, eight, and eight plus one, nine. And last is addition of hundred place. That is one plus two. One plus two is three. So answer is three hundred and ninety three. Okay, student. See again five plus eight, thirteen. So three at unit place and one carrying over at tens place. Then three plus five eight and eight plus one nine and one plus two three. So answer is three hundred and ninety three. Now we will see next example. First read it. Three hundred and ninety four plus one hundred and thirty six. So first addition of unit places four plus six. Okay, students, just do it fast and tell me what is four plus six. Correct. Four plus six is equal to ten. Correct. Four plus six is equal to ten. But it is two-digit number. So.
So that is zero unit and one tens. Ten means what? Zero unit and one tens. So zero we will write at unit place and one we will carry over at tens place. Okay. Now nine plus three. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and twelve plus one. Twelve plus one, we got answer thirteen. Again, thirteen tens, correct? So in last video we have learned thirteen tens means what? Three at tens place and one at hundred place. Okay? So that three we will write here at tens place, and these one hundred. We will carrying over here at hundred place. Okay, see again, student. Six plus four ten. So ten means zero unit and one ten. So we wrote zero here and we carried over one at tens place. Now nine plus three twelve. Twelve plus one thirteen. Again two digit number. So thirteen means three tens and one hundred. So three we will write here at tens place. And we will carry one at hundred place. Now three plus one four and four plus one five. So answer is five hundred and thirty. Three zero means thirty. Six plus four ten. Ten means zero here. One carrying over. Nine plus three twelve. Twelve plus one thirteen. Thirteen means three tens and one hundred. So three write down here. One carry over. One plus three four. Four plus one five. Answer is five hundred and thirty. So students, did you understand how to do? If you get two digit number, then number at unit place you should write down, and another number you should carry over. Okay, students. So now we will see third example. Read it. Two zero six. Two hundred and six. Okay, here zero is there. No number at tens place. So how to read it? Two hundred and six. And this is three hundred and eighty-five. Okay. So first we will do addition at unit place. Six plus five. Six plus five. Eleven. Eleven means one unit and one tens. Eleven. One unit and one tens. So one we will write here, and these one tens we will carry over in tens place. Eight plus zero, eight only, because there is a rule. If we add zero in any number, you will get the number itself. Eight plus zero, eight. Eight plus one, nine, and then three plus two, five. So answer is five hundred and ninety one. Did you understand, students? Very good. Now we will see last example. Last example is four hundred and thirty-nine plus one hundred and fifty-five. So let's start. Nine plus five. So students, nine plus five is equal to forty. So first we will write here fourteen down. So fourteen means four unit. And one tens, four units and one tens. So four we will write at four places, that unit places, and these one tens we will carry over. Okay. Next five plus three eight, eight plus one nine, and four plus one five. So answer is five hundred and ninety four. Okay, student. So, student, in this way we have to solve addition by carrying over. When you will get two-digit number, one number you should write down in the answer, and another digit you have to carry over. And we should solve these examples of addition by carrying over. So, students, did you understand how to do? So, we should practice every day. So, student, today's homework is. write down these four examples in your notebook and just solve yourself okay first you practice how to do and then solve these examples in your notebook okay you only solve okay
Thank you students. In next video we will see some more examples. Thank you.